Time for the takeaway and policing the robots. This week, one of Canada's big thinkers on artificial intelligence made an important announcement. Yashua Bengio is the founder of Mila, a Montreal-based think tank on AI, and is often called the godfather of AI, thanks to his pivotal role in developing the neural networks that gave birth to the technology. Now, he wants to be part of the white hats of the internet. He's launching a nonprofit that will develop AI capable of policing other AI systems. The heart of the problem, it seems, is that existing AI is already starting to deceive humans, to act in ways that are about self-preservation, the self in this case being the AI algorithm. Since the latest generation of AI tools will be self-starting, AI agents which can act and behave independently of their creators, the risk of rogue behavior is shooting up. Bengio's Law Zero will take funding of about $30 million and develop a system they call Scientist AI, the sole purpose of which is to create guardrails to protect humanity from the machines we're creating. The use of AI is exploding in the world. ChatGPT claims 400 million active weekly users and growing fast, but that's nothing compared to the explosion that could be coming as so-called agentic AI tools are created and deployed. These tools will have that element of self-starting to them, capable of completing a series of other tasks using computer tools and networks. As they become more sophisticated, the potential for harm also grows. It's a wake-up call for all of us when one of the people who understands this technology best is sounding the alarm, and perhaps grounds for optimism that he also believes the technology itself can be the solution. Either way, it's high time citizens and their governments took notice of how this technology is rolling out. AI can be both an incredibly powerful tool for good, solving complex problems that have eluded the human brain, but it can also be a tool that in the wrong hands can be abused. And of course, an algorithm that theoretically at least could outsmart us altogether and begin to make decisions for itself. My takeaway? It's time to stop letting artificial intelligence happen to us and take control of how it's deployed. It may be moving fast, but for now at least, it is still in human control. Taking Stock, Fridays on BNN Bloomberg.